So this door in the background used to be O.D. Smith store. I don't know if it was O.D. Smith grocery store. Anyway, there's a gas pump here. This is a store. This is where we came and got Cokes and candy and all that stuff. It's one mile that way than the property where I used to live. But O.D. Smith was killed here when somebody would come in and rob the store. I'm going to turn you around and see the store. This store is in a place called Ridge Grove, Alabama. It's about nine miles from Lafette, Alabama. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And I used to live here, about one mile from where this store is. I've got some property. And anytime I'm trying to explain to somebody where my property is, I just I, I bring up OBD Smith's store. Does he, you know where OBD Smith's store is? And they say, oh, yeah, and I know OBD Smith. And uh, I say, yeah, my property is one mile from that store. And everybody knows OBD Smith. It's kind of a staple in this area. And a lot of people know this store as, as well. This store's been closed a long time. Uh, after the incident, which was in 1991, I remember coming back home on leave and going out here. I think it was 1992 or 93. So on the day of the, uh, the robbery, the, the guy that came in and robbed, he came in the store, shot OBD Smith, and then continued to rob the place. And the, the, from the store that was told is he shot him again on the way out and killed him. And uh, I tried to find some information on it, some more information on the internet, and there's not a whole lot. I think there was a trial, and there was something about some jury tampering, and then I think it was a retrial. But uh, I couldn't get very good information on it. But I knew OBD Smith a little bit. I was a kid. He used to come here. And we had an old dog that we, a beagle, that he kind of took a liking to, so I wound up giving him the beagle. But this is where we used to come and get gas and Cokes and cookies and chips and stuff like that but anyway OBD Smith here in Ridge Grove Alabama outside of Lafayette OBD Smith November 24th 1920 January 8th 1991 and like I said anytime you uh, talk to anybody from this area and you bring up OBD Smith Everybody remembers him. He was kind of a staple in this area. Um, had been around here a long time. And uh, like I said, he's kind of a staple around here. Everybody knew who OBD Smith was. So it's a tragic thing that happened out here. It's crazy that it happened out in such a rural part of Alabama. Um, I was in the Army. I left for, went in the Army in 1989. And I was stationed in Germany when uh, I called home and they told me what happened. And... This shooting took place a mile from my house. I mean, mom and them were a mile away, I think, when it happened. It's great to come out here and pay my respects to OBD Smith. Um, we moved out here when I was probably 17 years old, and that's when I first met him. And uh, I just remember him being a nice man. And he was tickled to death to get that, uh, that beagle that I gave him. I remember him being happy about that. Rest in peace, sir. And I just want to say, because I'm never really sure about this, but uh, this is meant as a sign of respect. And if any family member has issue with this video at all, so that's the story. just let me know uh, and I will take it. Like, down. share, and subscribe. And remember, not all those who wonder are lost. Thanks for watching.